Thank you guys for coming to another episode of Case a Card Tuesday. First, let's take a look at the card that I cased. That card was so stinking cute. I loved, um, it was different and it was unique and I liked it. So, this is how mine's turned out. So stinking cute. I love this card. Um, it's different, like I said, it's different, but it works for me. It was, um, I don't know what this paper is that I use. I think, I want to say it's Creative Imaginations um, Gallivant, but I'm not sure because I had this in some random papers that I had. So um, it's really pretty. It's a more of a masculine um, color scheme. It's blue and cream and brown. Um, and I really like that uh, color pattern. So I have used a corrugated board that you get from Recollections. I have a base in the back uh, from the collection and then I have another cream layer with some French script on it and I have stitched around all of those edges. Then I cut up two more different pieces of pattern paper and layered them in um, three quarter inch um, strips and then on top of that is a half inch strip and I stitched down the middle of all of those just as the originator did on their card. Tried my best to rough up as much as possible using my Tim Holtz tool and then I added some pearl strands flat back pearls and then they had these really tiny beads which I don't know how tiny you got the hush thick have them on there but they're really super tiny and um, so I just used these instead I used a florist die that I got from uh, scrappy land and I cut out some flourishes using paper from the same collection I had like six or seven pieces so I tried to use those pieces up and then these are my handmade flowers and these two tiny uh, these tiny white flowers are from wild orchid crafts and the sentiment is an epoxy sticker it says love binds everything together in perfect harmony and um, that's it so thank you guys for coming to another episode of case of card tuesday hopefully you guys will try this like if you like it thanks for watching bye